So fans, welcome back to another quick Blu-ray review of the Criterion Collections of The War of the Worlds, one of my favorite films of all time. Coming up right now, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. I will not talk about the film right now, maybe some other time, but I will get down to the tech specs right away. Movie was shot in 35 millimeter and the aspect ratio is 135 by one. And this film has a 4K DI. So now let's get on to the video call itself. Oh my goodness, guys. Finally, for the first time ever, the world of the worlds looks how it's intended to be seen. A lot of people, a lot of people who saw the film, who are, who, who are still alive to this very day, are have seen the recent, this recent new version that came out, and they're like, "Wow, this is exactly how it looked like in theaters." So the picture quality is razor sharp, grain is healthy, and you see so much details, especially on the flying saucers, and you also see more detail on uh, the actor's pores and their skins or whatever. And it's just so detailed, it's razor sharp, and it's just very well textured. And you also see the wires a bit more visible, but but um, I'll get onto it much later. But it does look like that Paramount did paint it out the the wires, or in or it may seem. I'll get onto it in a minute. Now let's move on to the audio quality. So this film has two audio. So it has the original mono track LPCM L yeah LPCM and a brand new 5.1 DTS Master Audio HD Master Audio supervised by Ben Burt himself. Now I'll just quickly talk about the mono track. Mono track phenomenal. I'm used to seeing this movie on mono, but man, Man, it's crisp, it's crystal clear, and it's bombastic, and it's pretty loud too, so it's it's great. If you want to watch the movie as originally presented, it's amazing. But I want to talk about right now on the 5.1 track. Ben Bird went on to the archives and he got the sound effects of the original movie and he just created this stereo mix, but but no, but but then again, no, he created the surround mix and it just sounds amazing. It's basically it, it was shot on mono, but I think it, they were calling it multi-mono, I forgot what it was called. But Ben Bird created these effects and it doesn't ruin the it does not change anything. It does not ruin the experience of the original sound effects. It doesn't change anything with sound effects. The only thing it changes is creating the surround sound mix with the original sound effects, and it's amazing. Like, I never thought I would hear the film this good. It's phenomenal. So, now let's get on to the special features, and this is packed. Everything is here with the exception of one audio commentary check. And the only thing that did not get ported up, unfortunately, is the audio comic track with Ann Robinson and Gene Barry. Now, I've heard that a couple of fans, they said that, well, the comic track is kind of annoying to listen to because Ann just keeps interrupting Gene a lot and well, okay. <laughs> but everything is brought over the radio, the radio broadcast of Orson Welles. Of, we also have the documentary of, the original documentary of the movie. And we also get the audio commentary by Joe Dante and I believe Ben Bird and a couple of special effects guys. But what also intrigued me was this new documentary on the restoration of the world of the worlds. They actually went into the original camera negatives and they went to the original Technicolor rather than the Eastman color prints. And what they said about the wires of like that, it's not as visible on the print themselves or maybe they did paint it on, but they said that they did not want to alter anything in the film. And what when they saw the original print, because they said all the Eastman colors prints show the wires, but in this one, you could barely see them or don't see them at all. So that's actually pretty good. That's why I'm questioning, did Paramount actually digitally remove or digitally painted the wires off or that's the original camera negative is, I don't know. So now let's get on to the scores. So if I were to rate the video quality, it'll be a 10 out of 10. It's just awesome. But the audio quality, again, 10 out of 10. And for special features, 10 out of 10, guys. Even though it's missing the audio commentary track, it's it's fine. So question of the day is, have you bought the World of Worlds from the Criterion Collection Blu-ray? What you thought about it? Let me know down in the comment section down below. So yeah, that's my video for the World of Worlds from the Criterion Collection Blu-ray. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys share it with your friends. And make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications. So this is Javi from Highway Productions signing up and hope you guys enjoyed the show.